You may have heard the term BIB38 before, but what does it actually mean? BIB38 is basically a standard way to encrypt a Bitcoin private key with a password. So if someone finds your encrypted key, he can't decipher it without knowing the password. Because of the way it is built, BIB38 also makes it much harder to hack your password through the use of brute force attacks. BIB stands for Bitcoin Improvement Protocol, meaning if you have an idea to make Bitcoin better, you can draft it up and if it's accepted by the community, they'll start using it. So BIP38 is just the 30th proposal submitted to the Bitcoin Improvement Protocol, which is currently adopted by Bitcoin users for protecting their private keys. There are two ways you can use BIP38. The first is to encrypt an existing private key with a password. The second way to use BIP38 is to let someone else create a private key for you and not allow them to spend your Bitcoins. So if you buy a physical Bitcoin, for example, you'll notice they have a private key printed on them and the guy who created them knows that key. So having BIP38 allows the creation of these coins and still protect you from the seller's ability to spend them. Keep in mind that private keys encrypted with BIP38 will usually start with 6P instead of the usual 5J. Okay guys, so very quick, quick video on how to create a BIP38 encryption. First of all, if you just want to create a new wallet with a BIP38 encryption, so for example, you go to bid address and first of all, you create your um, private key and your, your wallet address. You just put in random characters or just move your mouse, mouse around. I know that if any of you have seen my previous tutorials and you already know this. So once this hits zero down here, uh, it will randomly generate a uh, Bitcoin address. And now if you want to BIP38 encrypt it, you just go here to paper wallet and we'll click here on the BIP38 encrypt and you add some sort of passphrase. For, so for example, this will be 99 Bitcoin. That will be a passphrase and you click on generate. And you'll see that the private key here which starts with 5J, once we click generate, now it does all these algorithms to kind of encrypt the, the private key and it will turn to what we talked about, uh, an address starting with 6P. This, by the way, takes time because it's a very, uh, it's a more complex en encryption that makes it harder to kind of brute force attack it into actually finding out what, what the encryption was. So now we see we have a new private key here that starts with 6P and this is something you can give out to people and you won't be afraid that they'll can take your Bitcoin because it's encrypted. But this is if you wanted to create a wallet from crap. Let's say you already have a private key and you want to encrypt it, you're going to use a different website, a website called bit2factor.org. And in this website, bit2factor.org, all you're going to do is enter your passphrase here, for example, 99 Bitcoin, and the private key down here. So let me see for a second if I can, I'll just take the private key from here and put it here inside this and generate encrypted private key. And what it will do is two things. First of all, it will give you a public Bitcoin address, which is always useful if you want to send Bitcoins to. And the other thing it's going to do is it's going to give you the encrypted private key, just like uh, we did before, only this time you inserted your own uh, private key here in the beginning. It didn't just create something from, from scratch. If you want to encrypt a, a current uh, existing Bitcoin wallet, this is what you use, this website, bit2factor.org. For more information, visit 99bitcoins.com. All the information you need to get started with Bitcoin today.